On the last part of the trip, we drove to an agro village. After a short tuk-tuk ride, we were shown how rubber was harvested, much as I'd seen in India. And then the owner of the agro village, one of three generations, showed us around how they could produce just about every kind of plant and vegetable needed. Everything is produced in an eco-friendly way. Yeah, it's still, you feel that uh, the spiciness of it. Do you rate Interestingly, there was an old Morris 8, which I'd never seen before, very much a classic. Also there was an unusual weather station. And then we had demonstrations of how you get cinnamon, which we all know as being tightly coiled little tubes. And in fact, it's the bark. And he showed how a very skilled technique to remove the bark and then dry the cinnamon rolls in the sun to give you what we now get in our little tubes from Sainsbury's. Then a demonstration of how they used the latex harvested from the rubber trees and then set it, remove the moisture and then finally put it through a wringer to create the final product which they then hang up to dry before they sell it. And a demonstration of how you get the sap from the coconut trees, which is a slightly alcoholic beverage. Next, they showed us how they use this human powered press to extract the sap from the bark of the tree. Then a long drive back to a lovely hotel right in the center of Colombo and fabulous view from the room including the Lotus Tower. But the highlight of the hotel was the sunset from the rooftop pool. When it got dark, I could see from my room window the changing colour of the Lotus Tower. 